Mai and friends. So I'm Colin, she's Sigram and she's Sherilyn. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll be talking about we'll be presenting about Apple and Amazon generic strategies as well as the quarter five process. So this is the our agenda for the day. To start off, <coughs> I would like to share our stand for the mobile tablet industry for industrial life cycle. So we agreed on that for the mobile tablet industry, we is heading to a heavy mind state. So I will be talking about Apple. This is the first generation Apple. Uh, this is the first generation iPad that was released in 2010. So can you all make a guess of the price? One dollar. One dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> apparently, wow. it was sold at a price of one thousand dollars and twenty-eight. One thousand and twenty-eight dollars. <laughs> so, and this is the one of the latest model that was released in twenty fifteen. So, do you all think that the price increased or did it drop? Drop. <laughs>
Sherilyn, do me a favor. Could you stand on that side and present from that side? Thank you. So I'll be sharing with you all the similarities between Apple and Amazon. So one common thing would be the cloud. Everything is stored in the cloud. Customers' data information are all stored in the cloud. So Apple use uh, and for Apple they are using iOS and iOS uh, iOS has their own cloud server and then Amazon they are using Amazon Prime and therefore there are different cloud storage and if a customer were to change from uh, were to change devices it would be very difficult for them to. Uh, transfer their data is very inconvenient and hence this will lower uh, increase the switching costs between customers because it's very inconvenient. Next, the differences between Apple and Amazon. Okay, so of course Amazon's target audience, Amazon and Apple's target audience is they are try they will try as much as possible to target everyone. So However, Apple's target audience is mainly for the loyal customers because even Apple's, Apple CEO said himself that he didn't really know iPad is targeted on which audience. Whereas for Amazon, Amazon created two kinds of tablets. One for everyday usage and it's at low budget. Secondly, for readers. So Amazon created an application called Kindle and Kindle is best used for uh, best used with the Kindle tablet with the Kindle tablet which is because they have this thing called e-ink which will imitate the look of a book which is very good and it's been said that for, even for people with dyslexia it helps and benefits them and secondly uh, and another difference would be the price differences the Amazon is targeted at low cost price and that's why and whereas for Apple they are more towards premium prices where people are willing to pay for a higher price. And hence this will impact things because uh, impact the industry. Because having Apple with high differentiation, which is a uh, good high high cost and differentiation, they are very well established brand. And with such a brand, such a high branding, attracts of new entrants will be very it's very difficult for people who want to enter this industry. Whereas for Amazon, Amazon is low price. And if, if someone were to enter uh, this industry, it, they have to fight with Amazon's um, pricing and it's very low margin. And hence the entrance barrier is very high for anyone to enter. Whereas for other five forces we feel that it's not um, it won't be affected that much since Amazon and Apple have their own loyal customers who will purchase things from them. In conclusion, we can conclude that um, Apple and uh, the tablet, the tablet industry is actually declining. If you see based on these statistics, based earlier, Pauline said that we think that the tablet industry is actually on mature going to decline, and based on these statistics, you can see the year growth. Everything is going down, except and if we were to focus ourselves to Apple and Amazon, Apple is actually making losses, and Amazon is actually making much uh, is making a higher growth actually. However, we feel that actually the tablet industry can still sustain at maturity if they continue to fight towards the best cost to do so, which is the safest point of the generic. Thank you.